Hi, in this video you will find 158 words and phrases that you need to talk about animals in English. Most broadly, all animals can be wild and domestic. Wild animals are not dependent on people. Domestic animals have adapted to live alongside humans. Those that eat meat are called carnivores, and animals that feed on plants are herbivores. Those that eat various food, including meat and plants, are called omnivores. Animals that hunt other animals are predators. However, there are more categories depending on a biological class and habitat, such as mammals, reptiles, aquatic animals, birds and insects. Mammals feed their young with milk, and some examples are an elephant, a bear, a rhinoceros, a hippopotamus, a zebra or zebra, a buffalo, a chimpanzee or simply a chimp, a sheep, a whale, a hedgehog, a squirrel. Lots of animals have fur, paws, claws, tails and fangs. An elephant has a trunk, others have hooves and horns. The largest mammal on Earth is the blue whale. It can reach the length of 29 meters and weigh up to 200 tons. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperatures vary adapting to the environment. Also, they have scale, often a forked tongue, and they lay eggs. Examples of reptiles a turtle, a tortoise, or a tortoise, a snake, a frog, a toad, a lizard, a crocodile, a monitor lizard, and its special type, a Komodo dragon, an iguana, a chameleon. What is the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? A tortoise is a type of turtle, but it lives only on land, not in water. A lot of reptiles, snakes in particular, are venomous. So plants are poisonous and animals are venomous because they have venom. Let's take a look at birds. An eagle, a flamingo, a peacock, a swan, an albatross, a wren, a seagull, a goldfinch, a pigeon, a swallow, a hummingbird, which is the smallest bird in the world. Most birds have feathers, wings and a beak, and they build nests. Some birds are nocturnal, which means they are active at night, like an owl. Some birds do not fly, like an ostrich and a penguin, and others, on the contrary, can cover thousands of kilometers when they are migrating, for example, an Alaskan bar-tailed godwit. It has the longest non-stop migration, 11,000 kilometers. An insect is a small animal that has six legs grouped in pairs and often with two pairs of wings. Examples of insects are a fly, a beetle, a ladybug, in the USA or a ladybird in the UK, a dragonfly, a bee, a grasshopper, a mosquito, a butterfly, a firefly, a cricket, a moth. Do you know that over 90% of animal life forms on Earth are insects? Amazing, isn't it? Also, butterflies taste food with their feet and moths have ears on their bellies. However, um, some insects may be really dangerous because they transmit deadly diseases, such as malaria. The term aquatic animal can be applied to animals that live in either fresh water or salt water. However, marine animals are those that live in salt water, in oceans and seas. Some examples are a whale, a shark, a tuna, an octopus, an orca, also known as a killer whale, a seal, a starfish, a walrus, a jellyfish, a lobster, and a crawfish lives in fresh water. A large number of aquatic animals have fins, scale, and some of them shell for protection. By the way, whales can communicate with one another over hundreds and even thousands of kilometers, producing special low-frequency sounds and sending them through the water. So they really do not need a smartphone. Most common pets are dogs and cats, but also it can be a rabbit, a fish, a guinea pig, a parrot, a canary, a budgie, a tortoise. What's the difference between a canary and a budgie? A canary is hard to tame and it will never talk, unlike a budgie that can talk and it's more likely to be tamed. 
Having a pet is a huge responsibility. Because they are to be taken care of, you must uh, feed them, you must have them groomed, uh, take them for a walk and to the vet, buy them special food and treats and even clothes. But in return, they uh, give you great emotions and become real friends. Some domestic animals are also called farm animals because they are reared and kept on a farm. Among them are a horse, a cow, a bull, a sheep, a goat, a goose, a dog, a donkey, a hen, a pig, a turkey. It's important to note that some of these nouns have the same plural and singular forms. For example, a sheep, a lot of sheep, a fish, a lot of fish, a deer, a lot of deer. And the plural form of the word goose is geese. Baby animals are called in a peculiar way. A young pig is a piglet, a young horse is a foal, a young sheep is a lamb, a duck a duckling, a goat a kid, a cow a calf, a hen a chicken. There are special words to name groups of different animals. A school of fish or a shoal of fish. It is a shoal when fish swim together in a loose cluster and a school when they swim together in synchrony. Groups of marine mammals are called pods, for example, a pod of whales, orcas, dolphins, walruses and seals. It's a flock of birds, a pack of wolves, a swarm of bees or other insects, a herd of cattle. But the word flock can also be used to talk about a group of goats and sheep. What is the difference between a pack and a herd? A pack is usually made up of carnivores or predators and they have a strict hierarchy. A herd typically contains herbivores and such groups do not have a complex social organization. By the way, a group of lions is called a pride. What do animals do? Wolves and dogs can howl, but only dogs bark. Cats purr and bears roar. Bees buzz and sting and snakes hiss and bite. Some animals, such as bears and groundhogs, hibernate during the winter. Unfortunately, because of human activities, some species become endangered, which means their quantity is critically low and they may become extinct, which means they die out. This is all for now, and if you think the video is useful, give me your thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye!